Advanced Google Forms and Docs Using Add-ons. Session 1, What is an Add-on? What is an add-on is a good question. It is a lot like what it sounds. It is a tool that is built by a third-party developer, which means it is not created by Google itself. There are third-party developers who wanted to create programs that could work with Google Docs and Google Forms. They are simple tools that add more functio functionality to your Google Doc. You will find that add-ons are tools that can be used in other ways, like there is a thesaurus, which is a tool in a Google Doc menu. But having it inside the Google Doc as an add-on makes it quicker to actually get to. Add-ons are managed individually. There are literally thousands of add-ons right now, and not all add-ons are created equal. You manage them individually by installing them individually, and you can turn them on and off individually. So it's not like I have to install all the add-ons. You can pick and choose what add-ons you'd like to use. Let's take a look at the Google add-on intro video. Google Docs and Sheets do all sorts of awesome stuff, but sometimes you need to do a little more. Add-ons are new tools created by our developer partners that literally add on capabilities to your documents and spreadsheets. To start, open a document or spreadsheet and click on Get Add-ons in the menu bar. Browse through the store, then choose the add-on you'd like to install. And just like that, the add-on will be available to use right away. If you'd like to view the full Google add-on intro video, it is available in the doc called Links for session one. As with all links in all these different sessions, there is a document called links for the specific session where you can access all the tutorials and any websites links for any of the sessions in this course for you to be able to review at your leisure and review for practice. How are add-ons helpful? As I mentioned before, they help expand the functionality of your Google Docker form. For example, there's a thesaurus add-on, there's an easy accents add-on, there is a Google Translate add-on, there is a form limiter add-on. The point of an add-on is to make your doc more functional in an easy to use manner. None of the add-ons are super difficult to use. There are some more complicated ones, but I've started with the most basic and the ones that are most applicable to education. They expand the usefulness of Docs and Forms, and Session 2 will be on add-ons for Docs, and Session 3 will be on add-ons for Forms. There are new ones all the time. So as I am creating this course, there's probably a dozen new add-ons that have been added. One thing to think about with add-ons is they are relatively new and they can be buggy. And since they are made by third-party developers, you can't call Google Technical Support or email Google and ask them for help. Most of the add-ons, when you install them, show the name of the third-party developer that created them and also give a point of contact for feedback and if there are issues. So if you go looking for an add-on that I have not covered in this course or you find a new one, just be prepared. It might not always work as you want, but just know that the, the third-party developers do want to hear feedback. So if you find an add-on and it doesn't seem to be working properly and there is contact information, contact the third-party developer. How do you install add-ons? As mentioned in the previous video, they're very easy to install. And once you are done with this session, you're going to go to the links document for session one and watch the video tutorial on installing add-ons. It is linked here but I'm not going to play the whole tutorial for you. You can view it yourself. Also, if you are a person who likes written directions, this link, Install Add-ons Official Help Guide, is also on the links document. And it will take you directly to 
the Google support page for installing add-ons. So if you're someone who likes to read instead of watch a video, this second link is for you. A word about the whole course. Each presentation in the course is a video presentation such as this. Each session presentation is accompanied by a links document that has the links to all the tutorials that you need to complete the course. So once you are done viewing a presentation, you go to that links page and watch the associated tutorials before you move on to the assignment. So, after you watch the video tutorials, you will be able to complete the assignment for session one. You're going to write a reflection that answers the following questions. How do you already use Google Docs and Forms? And if you don't, you can simply tell me that you don't. How can you see add-ons to be helpful? Turn your reflection into Edmodo one of the following ways. And Edmodo is the learning management system that you joined and created an account where you could access all this information. You can type it directly into the response box in Edmodo. So make sure you've watched the, view, the video about turning in assignments in Edmodo so you can see where the response box is. You can create a Google Doc and share it with me. But make sure if you do that, also copy and paste the link into the doc in Edmodo so I have access to it right there and it'll show you turn something in. Or you can type a reflection in a Word document and upload it into Edmodo. So those are your three choices. If you have any questions at all, feel free to email me.